So let's have the conversation about taxes. Donald Trump says he's going to reveal his big tax plan. Of course, it comes with no real actual plan, but lots of fanfare, which is his number one speciality. In fact, he's so good at fanfare that he's now the president of the United States of America, which is saying something. The problem with the conversation we have in this country around taxes is this. The assumption is that all tax money, or the primary tax revenue for our country, should come from income. In other words, when you make money, the government takes some of it. I want to back up a little bit and have you think about taxes a slightly different way. Imagine taxes are a way of punishment. And so you want to use taxes to punish the things that you don't want to have in society. And you want to reduce taxes to encourage the things you do want to have in society. And now imagine a political body, a Congress, a government, state, or federal, that debates what are the things we want to have more of in society and what are the things we want to have less of in society, and then reflects that intention, more of or less of, through tax policy. The most obvious thing here, I guess, is smoking, where we raise taxes on smoking in order to reduce smoking, which has proven very effective in places like New York City, uh, or where you have no taxes for companies that are investing in creating small businesses uh, in, sm in rural communities. So those would be sort of the more obvious examples of the use of taxes in that way. But writ large, we actually use taxes as a country to punish people for the act of making money, for generating income. So if you are an earner where you have a job and you get paid money, you get taxed. Why should we tax you for making money? We want you to have money in your life. We want everybody to have money in their life as much as they possibly can. At the same time, why do we create tax benefits for things that we know are bad for society? Things, the most obvious one being fossil fuels. So don't be fooled by the Democrat, Republican, Donald Trump tax conversation, oh, where it's tax cuts for the rich or it's taxes on the middle class. The whole idea of taxing income across the board is entirely misguided. Income is something that we want to encourage more of, and the political debate needs to be around taxing things we want less of, the most obvious one being things like fossil fuels. And then, of course, the tax revenue from taxing fossil fuels could be helped to support people from, for instance, the coal industry, who are now naturally going to be affected by the transition and for whom we must, as a country, have some understanding and compassion. But again, taxes are a punishment or they are an encouragement depending on how they're used as opposed to deciding whether we should tax people who make a lot of money or a little bit of money. Why are we taxing anybody for making money? Let's tax the things we don't want. Let's not tax the things we do want. Don't get your hopes up. I'm not expecting anybody in the Democrat or Democratic or Republican Party to get on board with this, but it's just a way to think about taxes that you might even be able to apply in your own small town, at least to start with, as opposed to look, getting bought into the false debate about who should pay the most taxes out of their income, when the idea should be to tax income in general as little as possible, and then encourage the investment in businesses that have a longevity for society, that have the ability to transition society, they have the ability to create jobs in society, so you create tax benefits benefits there and then you create tax penalties for excess consumption or for that matter things like fossil fuels. Taxes are a punishment. They're not a way to collect money.